Hey folks, welcome to Well. This is just a pre little pre-recorded video. It's been a while since we've done one, and um, you know it's a beautiful day that the Lord has made out here in Food by the Word country. And um, just figure we take a few minutes and just you know really kind of talk about a couple of current events that's that's really interesting, and then you know just to hopefully give a little bit of encouragement. But you know, because you know to be honest with you, this is really interesting time that we're in. Um, it's actually a time of great opportunity. It's a time when, you know, this is a, you know, we have to get out of the box to get into the bag. That's the, that's the theme of this, of this, uh, episode today. So welcome to well, you know, theme of this episode is you gotta, you know, get out of the box to get into the bag, you know, 2023 and beyond, you know, it's known, but a lot of folks are struggling with, you know, what is known. Okay, what, what you know, some of the current events that we do know. You know, um, AI is here to stay. Um, there's a lot of concerns because there's no regulation and, and so forth. So, you know, there's been a, um, a lot of calls to slow it down. But like we've indicated in previous videos, you know, the rate of acceleration for technology be it AI, machine learning, you know, um, advancements and, you know, autonomous vehicles, you know, all across the board, you know, it's, it's fully in motion now and it's all predicated upon, you know, our actual infrastructure being built, you know, that's really the slow, the slow rolling part about, you know, the investment in, in the infrastructure, making smart roads, you know, and really, you know, getting the 5G in and making it ubiquitous throughout the world and so forth. So there's these these issues. It's really not about, unfortunately, you know, you know, hearts and minds, sure, you know, but it's really about the investment and the fact that we're having to reorder the economic structure in the world in order to facilitate how it gets paid for, who gets paid for, and you know, who's going to be doing the work, um, you know, how the work how the work is going to be done, and so this is where the opportunities lie because we are deconstructing infrastructure, deconstructing supply chains, and we're rebuilding from scratch a lot of things, a lot of infrastructure, technology, so forth and so on. I mean, it has to be built from nowhere now. And so the opportunity is in, in, in you know, rebuilding yourself and reconstructing yourself, you know, and this is the greatest time um, that we've been in in a long time. I mean, this is an industrial age shift. I mean, just think about the terms of, you know, the horse and buggy to the automobile, you know, in, 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 you know, in those terms, you know, and, you know, just think about, you know, one of the things that's not taught in history is, is even the, the, the building of the infrastructure for the highway system. People don't, you know, people take for granted that, you know, once by a time, you know, in, in, in our country, you know, just, you know, in the, you know, 30s and 40s, you know, the infrastructure wasn't there like it is for us to, you know, move products and people, you know, around the country, you know, so effortlessly, you know, because the highway system wasn't as it is now. And, you know, now it's ubiquitous. Now it's, you know, where it's, it's normalized to the point where that's all most people have ever known. But it's not. It's not. I mean, you'd have to be in your, you know, in your 80s, probably 70s or 80s to realize, you know, and remember a time when, you know, in our country when it wasn't you know so so accessible just to get from the east coast to the west coast and so forth and you know there's still a lot of things you know that from an infrastructure standpoint that that have to be um um built and implemented now so all these things being said you know it's, it's important to understand you know you have to get out of the box to get into the bag you cannot continue to think that oh i'm just going to keep going this i'm going now now most people most people you know, are tethered to 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 jobs and 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 to you know working for and and being employed by people, and that's okay. But here's what we have to understand: that's a huge different from that's a huge difference from entrepreneurs, you know, from from you know um, self starters, which is what we really need a lot of right now. We need a lot of self starters. We need a lot of entrepreneurial individuals to strike out and go. You know into that you know that 
that while beyond and create something that was not there before and to implement something that was not there before and see that's that's why this is you know one of the greatest times in history for that to occur so you know that's what that's what's you know really being called for now as well not just the you know building of the technology but the the people that can implement the technology that people that can even develop the technology here's the thing we have technologies right now that are tools to use to build the technologies to come you know these technologies that are coming in and you know coming at a rapid pace we have to totally you know reshape infrastructure and supply chains in order to even build the technology that's 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 about to come and that takes investment it takes time it takes re-education it takes education you know i had a, an epiphany the other day i saw um it was a question asked i forget where it was but it asked the question um would you go to mars if you could go to mars or would you stay on planet earth it was a poll it was one of those polls it was go to mars or stay on earth and up until that point in my life, I, I probably never would have said, you know, you know, anything other than, you know, I'll stay here on Earth. You know, I never really saw myself, you know, you know, oh, I want to go to Mars. You know what I'm saying? I never I don't think that's ever been. <laughs> I don't think I before before I saw that question, I don't think I honestly ever considered me going to Mars for, for any reason. But when I saw that question where I'm at now. And where I'm at growing businesses and really working to, you know, to educate myself and really working to grow and, and to do different things and, you know, engage with different people. I had to stop and think before I, before I answered that question. I said, you know what? You know what? And it didn't take me long to come to the conclusion. I said, you know, where my mind is now? Yeah. 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 I would. I would. I would. You know, I, I would go to Mars. And so now... I'm like <laughs> on my mind, like, you know, hey, you know, hey, I will go to Mars. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I do. I mean, because it's working toward it. See, if I start working now on going to Mars, you know, if I start working on going to Mars, you know, that will help to ensure that my grandchildren actually go to Mars. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's, a, it's a mindset. You know, if I start work now, I may never physically be able to go to Mars. But if I start working on going to Mars now, you know, then my grandchildren will be the ones to go to Mars. You know, my, you know, my newborn grandson, you know, and, and then, you know, my older grandchildren, you know, and, and all the ones in the middle, you know, will have, you know, have a chance to go to Mars. The ones who actually have more of a chance to go to Mars you know we'll be able to go to mars but if i start now see i it takes me to start you know it takes me to start working towards me going to mars in order to effectively put my grandchildren and and their children in position to go to mars or or you know to go to mars or anywhere in space you know to to you know to moon base you know what i'm saying um um four or to you know <laughs> to to so the satellite, you know, um, 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 you know, um, constellation that's developed and, and built, you know, what I'm saying by Jeff Bezos or whatever, you know, that's that, that's you know, voyaging through the through the through the vastness of space or whatever, you know, or you know some you know Star Treks basically, you know, but but it takes for me to start working towards that now, and so this is getting out of the box to get into the bag. You know, as we're developing things, we're developing, you know, you know, we have our we have our um, we have a third annual um, Montgomery 2320 Business Development Services LLC seminar um, happening in Fort Wayne this year. Um, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be dynamic. But it required me years ago to start thinking out of the box in order to develop this, to bring it together, to, to you know, to coordinate to do it, you know, do it once, do it to, to invest, you know, invest time after time after time, invest money, invest time, invest energy, you know, it takes for it took it takes for me to get out of the box in order to get to the bag that I'm working to get to someday, you know, obviously I'm not there yet, you know, but you know, here's the thing, had I not started, you know, years ago, I would not be this far now and being able to, you know, 
you know, to orchestrate, you know, such a dynamic, you know, um, function and on to the next one and on to the next one until we get to Mars, you know, and, you know, so forth and so on, you know, on to the future, future facing, you know, and my father, he's 86 and, and I, you know, I've told him about, you know, what I'm doing and he's already like, okay, you need to start planning, you know, the, 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 the you know, the sixth year and the 10th year and the 15th year of this event, you know, and, and projecting forward. And he's absolutely right. He's absolutely now he's 86 years old. 86 years old. And this is his conversation for me when it comes to, you know, when it comes to, you know, what we're doing with this particular event or with this particular business venture. You know, he's 86 years old. When he was born, you know, the radio was new. When he was born, the radio was new. Television was not invented yet. The radio was new when he was born. Okay, let's get that. Let's get, you know, there was no such thing. You know, when he was born, there was no such thing as, you know, eight tracks. There was no such thing as, 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 you know, as, as, as tape cassettes. There was no such thing as DVDs. There was no such thing as digital anything, you know. And so when he tells me, you know, you know, you know, projecting the, the you know, the sixth year and the, the 10th year and the 15th year, you know, that's what I'm saying. You have to get out of the box to get into the bag. So that's the conversation, you know, here today on Well. You now chime in, leave some messages. Let's have a conversation, folks. You know, this is the time. This is a great opportunity, you know, and what are you going to do to seize this opportunity? You know, what are you going to do and say, well, you know, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this. OK, I don't, you know, don't just talk about it. Be about it. This is the time when, you know, you got to get out of the box to get into the bag. So with that in mind, you know, welcome to well, you know, this is from, this is from, you know, food by the word country, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and just really, you know, appreciating, you know, what God is doing, you know, and, and opportunities that we have in hand right now. So welcome to well, and we'll talk to you later.